Hi, I'm Ted Tresco with DNR Fisheries Management. If you're watching me today, you're probably an angler interested in fish and fishing. You've likely heard about the fish disease, VHS, and hopefully the campaign to prevent its spread. VHS is a virus. It gets into the bloodstream of fish and can kill them. We know that it can affect a variety of fish species. We also know that it spreads by moving water or live fish, such as minnows, from one lake or river to another. And research has shown that VHS is tough enough to survive in dead bait, even frozen dead bait. To combat this, the DNR has new rules concerning dead bait. These rules say the bait must be preserved without refrigeration or freezing. That means you can't use fish that have to be kept cold even if it's marked preserved. Taking fish off the shelf is the only way you'll know that it's been preserved. We all know that fishing with dead bait can be really effective during the ice fishing season. So to help prevent spreading VHS in the winter, it's important to know that your bait is preserved properly to minimize the risk of moving VHS. Here are two ways to do that. Soaking your bait in rubbing alcohol or mineral oil will prevent the minnows from spoiling and leave you with minnows that you can use as dead bait. Fill the container with minnows and then add oil or alcohol until the fish are completely covered. Then, cover the container and let them soak for at least two weeks. If you want, you could also add an attractant like anise oil, garlic, or a commercial attractant to the bait. After that, you have preserved bait that can be stored without refrigeration. A second preservation method uses a combination of salt and borax. Mix one pound of non-iodized salt and a quarter cup of borax in a container. Pour some of the mix into the bottom of the container and arrange your minnows. Make sure to leave a little space between them. They'll dry better that way. Now pour the rest of the mix on top and let it sit uncovered for at least two weeks. The drying bait may smell, so this method is probably best done in a garage or some other place with good ventilation. After a couple of weeks, your bait should look like this, and you can package it into smaller batches with a little of the salt borax mix. Just put it into a sealed container and toss it into your tackle box, and you're ready to go. You can also use any of these techniques to preserve trout and salmon eggs, too. These methods will work for both cured and raw eggs. If you've missed anything or want to print out these recipes, we've posted them on the DNR website. Just search for dead bait. With your cooperation, we can prevent the spread of VHS. Good luck and be safe on the ice this winter.